Alright, so if you guys don't mind, I want to go around one more time just so you guys can introduce yourself again. Um, I'm going to put it live on Facebook and that's okay with you guys. Um, and again, just introduce yourself, um, Miss Annapolis, and then I'm going to go into my little spiel real quick. Um, I kind of already went over this with you guys, but I'm just going to go over it again. Um, and then we're going to get out there and start trying on clothes. Alright? So one more time, I am Christina Christopher, and I'm the owner of Shabby Chic, your fashion boutique. And we have been um, here for now three years. Today's actually our th third year anniversary. Nice. And nice. thank you. Um, and just so you guys know, a little background on me. Uh, prior to this, I was a personal styles director at Nordstrom. Um, I got to style uh, people on my own, and then I got promoted, um, and I traveled from Northeast to Capitol, 27 stories, just going to every store, getting all my uh, personal stylist managers ready to help their customers and build relationships. So after that, I decided to open my own store, and that's where I am here today. We actually have five personal stylists out there um, that will help us find the perfect style for you guys today as well. All right? So of course you guys all know how to dress for confidence, or else you wouldn't be in your beauty pageants, right? So I'm talking to the experts already. Uh, but I am just going to go over dress with confidence. Um, you guys are your own brand, right? So it's about what stand, like what does your brand stand for you? Um, we're going to go over first impressions, which you already know, style mistakes, which I'm sure you guys know as well. Um, I love this. Can you have anything you want if you dress for it? Um, and a lot of you guys have such great careers that you guys already know that if you dress the part or you dress for that next job, you're going to get probably that next job, right? That was my special tip when I worked at Nordstrom. Uh, I was younger, getting promoted, but I always dressed the part, wanted to uh, look the part, even look like you know the store manager. And I swear that was why I got promoted. <laughs> and ask it. Um, so you guys are your own billboard. Um, what I love about today is that you guys are the ones that actually get it. Some, a lot of people don't know how to dress for their own body and body type. Um, mostly they'll keep buying the same item over and over because that's what they think looks great on them or that color how many of you guys have thousands of black t-shirts in your wardrobe who is the um it's you i only wear black you know me so well <laughs> i do um so your image is your personal brand the way we dress affects the way we think the way we act and the way um, others think of you amen and <laughs> Amen. And the, what is really cool is that you guys probably already know, before you even say anything to the judges, they already have, have 11 impressions of you, right? They already can size you up. They can probably already tell. She's a pinup style um, vintage look. You know, they, they can, your style needs to scream what you look or what you want to say to them. Um, does your style make you credible, believable, trustworthy? And does it say who you say you are? If you say you're a vintage pinup model and you have that look and you're wearing, I don't know, a, a tight suit and not, and you're too stuffy, does that scream you? No. So you're, you're, you're kind of a liar if you do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you guys probably already know, because you guys have already told me your careers, um, but if you do dress the job, you are going to earn more uh, money, and that is a fact. Um, your clothing will speak before you even open, so you know um, it's all about first impressions. So you have three looks, or you guys have to tell me you have four looks, which is pretty cool. Um, and I don't know if you guys make it consistent, um, you know, making sure that, like for you, you say that you hate, you hate wearing orange and yellow. So does all your looks, like, do you have any other bright colors, or is it all just black and white? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> exactly. So um, we just want to make sure that the colors that you are going to wear um, comes off confident. And if you don't feel confident in your look, you're uncomfortable, we all know. How, did you guys ever feel, um, some of you have been in pageants a long time. Um, how many? You've said many. So is there any a time that maybe you, even trying on a dress before going into the pageant that you thought, I really like it, but I don't feel as confident in it? Right. And is there something about it that made it not confident? Right. Maybe it's too low cut, or maybe it's rising up. Um, you guys probably don't have to sit during your presentation, but that is a really good tool. So if you're trying on an outfit and you're like, gosh, is this too short or is it too long? Is am I not comfortable? Do the sit test. If you can sit in it and it's not puckering or rising up and you don't feel like you're moving, it's probably good. Um, so 
always know if you're wearing something that you're pulling on and stuff, you don't look confident if someone is looking at you as you're doing that. All right? These are such good tips. Yeah. I mean, um, and again, it's though, amazing. But what's so cool, though, is that you guys already know that. Like, I am literally talking to the experts, or else you guys would not be going out for pageants. But even though you guys are the experts, maybe you guys find yourself going in that consistent tradition of always doing the black and the white. Um, I'm here today, and my stylists are here today to maybe find that color. Like, for you, Miss Montgomery, you love red, and we already know you look fabulously red. But let's just see what that purple is going to look like. You know, because that purple is also going to look great on you. We want to find the best colors because we all know that if you wear the right colors, you are going to shine. And that way, I wish you guys could all win. Um, <laughs> So you guys already know, don't wear too provocative clothes, obviously, wear your age appropriate. Now this style mistake, I want to go back, I hate this mistake. I get, when people come into my store, oh, your store is too young for me. Absolutely not. I dress people from 12 to 92. This uh, wrap that I have on right now, literally, I sold to a 16 year old yesterday, today there's an 84 year old grandma that was a little chilly out there. This is going to be worn with your jeans, with a dress it up you can make it more sophisticated looking um so again don't just think this is age appropriate for me so for you for example you want to be elegant and polished so we do want to get more of a sophisticated look but not too frumpy and old right all right obviously well fitting the colors that fit which i've already talked about wrinkle free which make sure all um all the colors stand out for you all right, well that was the end of that presentation, but we are going to go out on the floor and find that best outfit, um, and I'm going to introduce you to the other personal stylist that is a little crazy out there, um, but I want you guys to go out there. There's um, video rooms out here, and then I'm going to create some other ones so we can all kind of just get in there. You guys can leave your bags back here. Are we going to be exactly back out there? Yeah. Huh? We're picking a fashionista wear for the project. Yeah, so we're going to find that look that you're going to wear for your fashion so far. But remember, if there is a look out there um, that we're going for and there's maybe, we find a dress that you like, but we want to do another color, something different, I am going to get a lot of pieces in before your event. So that's why I've taken your name down, your information, so we can keep in contact. Um, I know that you guys live far away, so no problem. I can send it to you. Um, we'll make it work. Okay. Can we Any get, questions? Can we get everybody to like, for me, like to stand up and tell me, you know, oh, your oh, title? Oh yeah. Sorry, and... I forgot to do that. Yeah. That'd um, be awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, Lisa, do you want to start with us? Uh, okay, sure. Hello. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm Mrs. Eastern Shore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> do you do the parade in Bethany? No, I don't. Oh, the July the Fourth. <laughs> 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 I love our guys. Okay. Hi, I'm Marina. I'm Mrs. Rachel County. Wow! Congratulations! Hi, I'm Jamie. And this is Anne Arundel County. Wow! Cool! Hi there, I'm Brandy, Mrs. Chesapeake Bay. Mrs. Chesapeake Bay. Mrs. That's Red. Hello! Hello! My name is Chelsea Mitchell. I'm Mrs. Maryland America 2016 and runner up Mrs. America 2016. Wow! Yay. Oh my goodness! I'm in the yes, secret room. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, there you are. Hi, I'm Sean, and this is Montgomery County. Hi. Hi hey, Hi. I am Mrs. Upper Marlboro, Michi Jeffries. Mrs. Upper Marlboro. Hi, I'm Cassidy. I'm Mrs. Maryland State Capitol. Wow. Hi. I'm Keisha Ruiz, Mrs. Annapolis. <gasps> wow, the capital! Hi, I'm Tanisha, Mrs. Howard County. Yay! That's where I live. We should also mention you were Mrs. Barbara last year. Yeah. 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 Especially for the Fashionista part, which we're going to go out and style them now. And the yes. event is where? At Frederick Community, Community College. College. Frederick May Community 20th. May 20th, Frederick yeah. Community College. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah.